For our ASCO presentation, we focused on MET exon 14 mutant non-small cell lung cancer. We and others have been working on uh, this topic for a few years to characterize uh, MET mutations in lung cancer. They're present in about 3% of non-small cell lung cancer, and they're very important to look for in all patients with non-small cell lung cancer because now we have approved targeted therapies with catmetinib in the United States, tapotinib in Japan, and likely other drugs to be approved in the near future. The focus of the ASCO presentation was to further characterize the genomic and pathologic features of met exon 14 mutant non-small cell lung cancers. So in collaboration with Foundation Medicine, they had access to over 1,300 met exon 14 mutant lung cancers. And through next generation sequencing and immunohistochemistry staining, we found that in general, this group of lung cancers has a high PDL1 level, uh, but tends to have a lower tumor mutational burden relative to other non small cell lung cancers. We often found frequent co alterations um, in other genes, such as MDM2 amplification, CDK4 amplification, and uh, amplification of um, the MET gene itself, which is also uh, mutated. In this study, we also looked to see potential mechanisms of resistance to targeted therapies. So uh, several dozen patients had uh, multiple biopsies sent where we had sequencing done on their tumor both before and after therapies. And we saw um, findings that help us understand how these lung cancers can develop acquired resistance to targeted therapies. So for example, we've seen on target point mutations within the MET kinase domain at positions D1228, Y1230, L1195, um, as well as amplification in other uh, genes and pathways such as EGFR, KRAS, and others. So, hopefully, through a deeper understanding of the uh, genomic features of this molecular subtype of lung cancer, we will hopefully develop the next generation of therapies to both delay and overcome acquired resistance once it develops to our uh, approved treatments. We know that MET tyrosine kinase inhibitors can be very effective for treating MET exon 14 mutant non-small cell lung cancer, but we also know that uh, many patients can develop acquired resistance to these treatments over time. And, and in some patients that can be six months, nine months, or 12 months. And so in part, we'd like to understand uh, why we see variation in terms of when resistance develops, why do some patients develop resistance soon, whereas others uh, can stay on the therapy for many years without developing resistance. So that, I think, is, is one part to understand why patients develop resistance. And then once resistance does develop, we would love to be able to target uh, those specific resistance mechanisms uh, by combining or switching to another therapy to overcome resistance. So the, the hope with this effort is by gaining a deeper understanding of the genomic features of this type of cancer, uh, we, we hope that we can um, build upon our existing treatments to develop even better therapies in the future.